G-L-E-S. Eagles! Eagles! Say fly, eagles, fly. Fly, eagles, fly. Fly, eagles, fly. <laughs>
in the third in the third round when it was so many people who could have came on day one and 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 started or at least produced fourth round pick Kayvon. I like Kayvon. I think he's going to be the future. I think he's going to be the future free safety for us. So I like that pick. Uh, then we go to Driscoll. I like Driscoll a lot. You know what I mean? Um, uh, I'm no high tower. I'm sorry. Uh, I like high tower. I like Quez Watkins. You know what I mean? I like, I like, I even like Prince Taker. I like Prince Taker. Now let's talk about Casey Tuhill. Go on. Well, who knows where he'll be because of what y'all did for Alshon Jeffrey because of the fact that Alshon Jeffrey should have been on a pup list for the first nine weeks and y'all didn't do that this is why I say he's doing too much because I feel as though that's his move I paid this guy as soon as he's available to play he should what have you done for me lately um I don't know about 2017. I don't know if those was his draft picks because they wasn't good. Now you could say they was Joe Douglas and maybe how we have final say, whatever the case may be, we don't know. But I do know one thing, Howie is doing too much. What you need to do, and I'm not saying you need to go in the broom closet, but you need to go to the accounting room. You need to fix these uh you need to fix these contracts get this salary low and don't even worry about even drafting another player this is why we got john dorsey this is why we should have him should i say i don't to me it, it it's so frustrating because i want to get on doug you know what i mean pause but i want i i, I want to everybody to know how bad Doug has been doing, how bad of a job Doug has been doing. But at the same time, when you look at it, the things that I can say for Carson Wentz, Carson Wentz not having a good offensive line. Carson Wentz not having a number one receiver. Carson Wentz, now in the rush, see, 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 the difference is that Carson Wentz doesn't control how many times the running backs run the football. Um, But I get it. I get it. If, you, if, you, if you're Doug and you looking at Harvey, you like, dude, where's my talent? Because you gave Jim Swartz almost everything he needed except for a, 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 a CB2. You gave Jim Swartz. You, you paid Ronnie McLeod. You paid Hargrave. You paid Millie Jackson. You paid Darius Slay. You know what I mean? You got it. You got you got you got sixty million dollars on a defensive line. Now you got some money on the offensive line too. Let's not get that screwed. But you bring back a Jason Peters for what? Just to give you, you, you just, you just donated ten million to his charity of himself. That's what you did for Jason Peters. Um, the, the every move that Howie made, other than uh, the draft picks, has stunk this year. They just flat out stunk. Even Darius Slay. Now, I, now I think a lot of it is scheme. But that's not even working out right. Hardgrave, oh my goodness, that ain't working out. So once again, I'm going to ask you this. Howie, what have you done for me lately? Because it damn sure ain't putting together a winning team. It's not. And I don't think Howie can do it. We need better evaluators. We need people that, that, that better at doing a job to have final say than this dude. This dude is some of the cause, a lot of the cause of the reason why we stink. That's just facts. The draft has been terrible the last four years. Now, get now, give or take, you have gotten some, you have gotten some good uh, guys out of there. But just the fact that you took JJ off thick of Whiteside over DK Metcalf, are you freaking kidding me? Anytime I say that, I gotta throw my hat because it is so. It is so frustrating that you do something like that. You know what I mean? And now it's looking like the same thing with Justin Jefferson. Let's go all the way back to Jordan Matthews. Now, I don't know if that was Chip Kelly or that was Howie Roseman. But you could have had Devontae Adams. Did y'all know that? You could have had Devontae Adams. 
and he could, still could have been on his team. A number one wide receiver. We have not had a number one wide receiver since T.O. Think about that. That's 16 years without a number one. Even with DJ being in his prime, he was not a number one. Macklin, not a number one. Um, uh, Jordan Howard, I mean, uh, um, you know, Jordan Matthews, not a number one. Nuss Nagelor, not a number one. The list goes on and on and on. N uh, um, Alshon Jeffrey, not a number one. These are not number one wide receivers. It's time that you get one this year. Now, I, I am... I am very, very, I am very, very pro moving back because we got so many holes on this team. But if you have a chance to get Jamar Chase or that kid from Alabama, you got to get him. Just for the simple fact that we never had a number one wide receiver drafted. Harold Carmichael, Chris Carter, uh, Mike Quick. Okay. We talking, we talking twenty, we talking thirty years ago. Come on, man, get it together, get it together. This organization will not succeed with Howie Roseman picking players. It ain't going to work. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Stay funny, stay fresh, y'all. Yo, that.